Hi there, Gavin Mountford here from GavinMountford.com and this is just a quick video to show you how to create labels in Gmail in order to keep your emails organized. Now let's just say that I wanted to put this email from Hannah in a specific label and I wanted to add a label that I don't already have. So I would tick the box or select the box, I would go to the drop down box labels and I can either choose from one of these existing labels and in order to um, to find it very quickly I can just type type the first parts of it let's say that would be our and I, I know my labels now pretty well that would be labels specifically for this um, but let's just say you want to create a new label and I want to create one called to do just just for instance so I'll type to do in and I'll click on to do and there you go, the label has been created to do. And then you'll find your labels down on the left hand side here, which again is very, very powerful. Now for this I want to put I want to remove the to do label and actually I want to put the action MLM label on it. So I go to labels, action MLM, and then probably what I'd do is just click on that and remove, click on the to do again and that removes the to do and then in order to put this into action MLM and remove it from the inbox I'll just archive it and that goes straight into this action MLM so I know that I need to do that as a task now all my labels stay down here and anytime things come into my inbox I process them twice per day and I put them into my action or I delete them delegate them or reply to them if they're less than two minutes um, the two things that you will need or the three th a couple of things that you will need you will need to create an at action box which is all your personal action items things that you need to do through email that are for your personal life if you've got a network marketing business you could have at action and then whatever the name of your business is or if you've got another business you could have at action whatever else and again you can create any labels that you'd like um, mine are just for me I've got R and then slash which are my reference labels so if I want to create a label for an email or, or a, a, an autoresponder that comes into me regularly I can just click on the R slash button uh, or I can create an R slash label and then I put the actual name of the label there so I know that all the R's are my resources and I can go there I can read things and everything's in its nice little place so um, this is Gavin Mountford here from GavinMountford.com see you in the next video bye bye